Hello friends, this is Kardec Radio here in Lily Day. We have promised you that we would tell you more. There's so much more. This is the second Spiritist Weekend in Lily Dale. Lily Dale is a spiritualist city unique in the world. Yes, people who live here, they are spiritualists, which means they believe in spirits, they believe in God, they believe in existences, after existences, reincarnation, and they believe in the communication, you know, among spirits, incarnate, discarnated. If you walk through the city, you see people who naturally talk about these things that are just second nature for them and for us. And we have become friends since 2004. Yesterday we talked to Tom Cratley, one of the former directors of Lily Dale. And today, in this, this very morning, we had a beautiful service, the healing workshop. Ricardo Melo from Brazil came to talk about Jesus, to talk about healing, to talk about life, reincarnation, the true meaning of life, but also to be the channel of new opportunities to open the hearts of people for therapeutic purposes. It was actually the spiritual treatments, the spiritual surgeries. And we have Ricardo here with us. Thank Hello, everybody. You. Thank you, Ricardo. You oh, know Ricardo, right? <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. So, Ricardo, you you have been in touch with the world. You have been traveling throughout Brazil and the world. Mm -hmm. And Ricardo speaks English fluently. And he was able to talk directly to um, more than 100 people who were present in this free workshop, which uh, also encompassed uh, the spiritual surgery the team of Dr. Fritz and many other loving spirits were here to help. So Ricardo, why is it important for us to, to give that opportunity to people around the world? Since, because the body, as you said to them, it's going to perish. But why is it important to do these healing treatments? Oh yeah, first of all, thank you for this wonderful invitation. I'm very happy to have this great opportunity to talk a little bit more with you. Well, uh, being in Lily Day, it's a great chance, I, I believe, to, to spread uh, spiritist ideas to different group, but uh, very important for all of us. We have a lot of mediums here and people really interested in knowing a little bit more about mediumship and uh, how open more their minds and hearts to this very important issue and here we have a very strong field that uh, enable us to be in touch and I really believe that to be in touch with this great kind of energy that put everything together mind and body and the same place uh, really connected as we learn uh, by the the gospel uh, according to spiritism and other wonderful books from Kardec and other wonderful spirits it's very important for us to cultivate this this process you know Vanessa uh, to be in touch with truth uh, what is truth uh, the truth depends on the way we are seeing the life and deal with the the different parts of life so I, I really believe when we have this possibility to think about what is healing think about what a spiritual treatment really means, think about what we are doing with our lives, we have a chance to, how can I say, maybe um, reflect more specifically, you know, about our choices that we are making until now. And most important than that, we can from now on make a better choice, more connected with our, our higher selves and be more connected with everything that God uh, offers every single day in every single moment. Yeah. So mindfulness, faith, gratitude, and wonderful words that I really believe uh, must walk in together. Yeah, so Ricardo, you know it's interesting because people were truly impressed, we were too. But as you said to all of them, the healing from within is the most important part. And it was so beautiful, I have to mention this. Okay. Because we come to a city in which 
though people are very loving, but there is a culture of, uh, you know, he, there is no free mediumship here. And Ricardo Mello very kindly shared with everyone from the get-go that for spiritism, and he said in this way, for us in our culture, and he said not the Brazilian culture, the spiritist culture, mediumship is free because it's freely given to us. And that was a very important moment because I think this is the first time that they see in their very city, because some of them go to Brazil to see John of God, but it's the first time that they have a healing medium, a spiritist healing medium coming to Lilydale. So I think more than words and more than the treatment, it was given to them an opportunity to see that it is possible to do this work and to feel the difference when you are detached from the expectations, from uh, uh, the attachments or the connections with uh, money, money-related issues. How did you feel in that regard? They were very accepting, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I was, I was very surprised because uh, I don't know exactly what I, <laughs> I will find, uh, <laughs> but at the same time I was well receptive by people that was there, and I really believe uh, people are really open uh, to listen to us when we talk with our heart. And um, I, I, I don't know, I, um, I really believe all, all kind of spiritual work are sacred. I understand their point of view because it's part from their culture, but at the same time we, we must share what we are doing, what we are believe. We must share our core values about uh, give for free because we got for free. So. Uh, I don't know, for, for me it's so natural talking about that and uh, it was pretty interesting because here, specifically here in Lilydale, it's a, it's a tough subject, you know, not to, to approach, mm -hmm. to talk about it. It was what's amazing because they was so receptive and caring and loving and I was very happy because we had a, a wonderful moment here in Lilydale. So I appreciate a lot this wonderful invitation for me. I'm learning a lot about people, about mediumship, about the different ways our beloved God, uh, how can I say, uses yeah. uh, as a channel, you know, in, in different culture in order to spread uh, his wonderful and perfect message. Yeah. So that's, that's right, this is the point. I yeah. think we are here just to be a channel, regardless of the result we will get. Yeah. We need to spread the seeds and waiting for the, the results that are coming in the right time. Yes, and, and I, I need to mention that uh, we had the help of uh, three uh, t people from three different spiritist centers. They came here to help as well. The Spirit Side of Virginia, the Spirit Side of Richmond, and uh, the Inner Enlightenment Spiritist Society. And I want to share something else with you. The mercy of God is such that, you know, the medium Ricardo Melo made himself available to w person by person who came here. And, and that reminds us of the model that we have on the earth, Jesus. Because he not only talked about life, but he talked to people one on one and that makes a difference it's not only about the energy work but the loving care one by one trim down to each and every person and we saw people crying out of joy people here who are mediums registered mediums in Lilydale people who are directors in Lilydale deeply impressed by the modeling of mediumship as a service and the beauty of it all we want to share as well is we had friends who were reading Emmanuel's and Joana de Angelis messages from three different books, Happy Life, 
uh, Living Spring, The Way, The Truth, and The Life, and even the Gospel According to Spiritism <coughs> during the service <coughs> as people were waiting for their turn. Mm -hmm. So they had a talk by Ricardo Mello at the beginning, followed by the, the spiritual treatment service, and then throughout the treatment, messages were being read. I, I don't think people heard so many messages about Jesus and Christ in this place as they did this morning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So it was truly impressive. Do you want to share any particular uh, message that was, the, I think the final message you were mentioning, oh, there's a cute little bug here, <laughs> very special. But at the end, Dr. Fritz came and gave a final message to everybody. Mm -hmm. Ricardo, would you like to bring some of the highlights because they were very special? Yeah, I... Well, firstly, uh, Dr. Fricks usually uh, pay attention to the, each patient and what uh, they need in that specific moment. And after that, he uh, gave us uh, a generously a uh, great message unique great message each spiritual treatment is always a new great message uh, remind us about very important topics and um, in this wonderful morning uh, he remind us about the relevance we have our hearts open to change when need to be changed it's quite important naturally we use our intellectual uh, we use our brains but most important than that we need to in practice use our hearts and feeling the good things and to be able to change when need to be changed in our lives so be in touch with the uh, wonderful feelings uh, that can free ourselves exactly uh, of the bad sensations bad thoughts uh, and limited beliefs that we we have uh, inside and definitely is not healthy for us so I, I really believe is a uh, it's not so simple naturally it's not so simple it's a daily exercise we need to pay attention very attentively uh, in what we are thinking what we are feeling in every single moment and at the same time doing our best but uh, I really believe my friends when you have a very good intention and we work on it we really do our best uh, in our daily basis, you know, in real life. It's not only about the theory, it's about the practice. In your family, in your job, uh, take care of your body, uh, manage the things that are very important. And we can do that uh, really linked with uh, cultivating this great linkage with our higher self. Definitely, we attract the wonderful support from this enlightened spirits and they uh, surround us every moment. Maybe uh, we can't visualize them, physically speaking, but mm. we can feel in them if we are in a very sensitive way. So for me, it was a wonderful morning, unforgettable morning. I'm mm -hmm. being honest, Vanessa, I'm being yes. honest. I appreciate a lot your invitation, mm -hmm. and I really oh, pray for God, uh, allow me, uh, to to have more moments like that because I've learned a lot and I just want to become a better channel as time goes by because it was we are learning from Chico Xavier from Divaldo Pereira Franco from wonderful channels wonderful mediums we have nowadays or we had recently that uh, put together the water what uh, doctrine is spiritual doctrine that bring us in a very good way with love compassion and uh, the gospel so put it together mediumship and Jesus working together so it was a wonderful morning and I wish you can enjoy every second in your life cultivating this wonderful Mm -hmm. Marriage. Mm, thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. And friends of Kardec Radio, let me share with you. If you are in uh, New Jersey tomorrow, he'll be there at the center, Seattle do Bem, Harvest of the Good. And then on Tuesday, he's going to be in New York at the Inner Enlightenment Spirit Society. I'm not so sure about the rest of the schedule, but I'm sure he's going to end up in Florida, in Orlando, 
and then he's going actually to Toronto. Canada mm -hmm. to Toronto. When yes. is that again? Mm, I'm uh, so sorry. Yeah, I I we'll find a way to share with you more information. In our Instagram, okay. we have it's in uh, his Instagram, yes. Ricardo Mello. Yeah, inst dot Ricardo Mello. Inst yeah, inst dot, dot Ricardo Mello yeah. in Instagram. Ricardo Mello, you can find the full schedule. If you want to meet with him and talk to him, etc., it's very special. For us now, what would you like to share with you? Right now, there is a workshop happening with uh, Fred Gouveia, Isabella Silvestre, about Spiritism in the Arts. Tonight, we're going to screen to them a movie about Chico Xavier and much more, and that's going to be the end of uh, the second Spiritist Weekend. What happens next? Many beautiful things. For now, we wish you lots of blessings, friends, and let's keep sharing the good news. After all, the world needs a lot of good news, right? Thank you, Ricardo, for being with us once again. Thank you once more. Thank you. <laughs>